Okay guys, so, um, good evening and I suppose welcome to my first uh, proper um, live stream. So I'm hoping you guys, oh, hold on. Just two seconds here, guys. Okay. And okay, so um right. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Uh let me just quickly check. Uh, a few things before I get started. Okay, so this evening um, I'm going to be drawing the uh, Alicanto, and the Alicanto basically is a bird rumored to um, eat gold and chase miners out of mines. So I thought it'd be an interesting start, um, something that maybe uh, we find quite interesting. So let me just quickly check I'm everywhere I need to be. Uh, I'm also streaming currently on Watch Me Work, so um, okay, we should be good to start. So uh, obviously, you guys come see me draw. So I'll have to stop talking and I'll get drawing. Okay, so um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask as you go as well. Okay, um, and I will answer them to the best of my abilities. So I'm thinking about probably using, I've got a few reference images for those of you that kind of want to see what I'm working with. Um, I'm thinking about sort of like vultures and cassowaries and stuff like that, but I sort of have to see how it goes and go from there. So um, I'm just going to be working on the actual creature itself today. Uh, I don't particularly uh, want to be doing the whole um, composition in an hour or so so my idea is get as much of the creature done as I can and sort of uh, show you guys what I can do and then hopefully you'll want to watch again um, that's kind of the plan anyway uh, how well that will work we'll find out so um, think about using like two different types of vultures probably a good idea So I'm kind of looking for that kind of more uh, in action pose, how well this that's going to work. I was actually looking at kind of like uh, blue jays, um, quite interesting to sort of like look at if you're ever sort of wanting to draw. Um, I suppose even if you want to um, draw sort of something that's probably going to end up being more of a bird of prey, um, you should always kind of look at the... Uh, what everything you know how how a bird works as well as um as well as like the the actual bird of praise themselves so obviously it's good to get a start but things like blue jays which are quite sort of like aggressive birds with one another um not just with people uh, maybe sort of like a very good kind of start so um there isn't really much to go on with the i suppose the the bird i'm looking at uh <laughs> it's a bit of a it's a bit of a kind of a mystery sort of one. Um, I was just looking at some random things. I kind of wanted something really, really interesting. Uh, and <laughs> it's always difficult to find something, um, especially if uh, you've drawn a few things already. So 
Um, I kind of start off with my, my rough uh, line work and then I start working into it. So um, there's just a few little bits I want to do on this. And then, um, okay, so let's zoom in. Right, so what I do is I tend to do like a nice base layer and then I tend to really dial it down so it's quite light and then I build into that kind of the, the shapes that I see and what I want to do so um, I'll just kind of play around the brush that now I'm doing everything kind of a long way I can use hotkeys but I think it's kind of better to learn um, if you go through the, the whole thing sort of uh, step by step and you know I think people are more likely to see what you're doing and kind of understand so they can apply themselves um, I did want to kind of do speed painting for a while but uh, I'm not sure how I feel about um, about doing it it's quite a it's, it's good but I, I think it's more to kind of show off your artwork which is fantastic but um, you don't necessarily learn as much from it I don't think um, when you can see kind of like the whole process what someone's doing and uh, how everything works you're in quite good stead for applying it yourself which you know I hope people kind of go away and try it out themselves um, let me have a look okay so I suppose I want to get the beat there now normally um, and I haven't set this up here very well but normally what I would do um, is I would have my if I was extend it now I normally pull my navigator out I like to see the whole image um, when I'm drawing so I, I kind of know that it, it works and that I'm not just uh, like it's, it's easy to add detail to one section um, of an image and then completely forget about the, the rest of it so you'll see there's like a lot of zooming in zooming out uh, checking what I'm doing and going from there um, and I'm kind of trying to think interesting with this now I kind of did toy around with the uh, the thought process and the idea that um, this bird would maybe sort of like be blind and have no pigment uh, it lives in mine shafts so uh, I kind of thought like you know cave fish um, you get cave snakes lizards I believe that have sort of started to lose their pigment um, and that just means that they're a lot paler uh, you know look almost al albino in some aspects uh, which is quite always quite interesting um, but in this case um, yeah of just playing around with the idea so as you can see like my line work kind of starts to get a little bit more refined and eventually it'll start looking good uh i hope <laughs> but we'll uh we'll see how we go um just got to kind of think about all these different aspects uh so maybe to be fair what i potentially should have done uh, is i haven't really got many um images of sort of like full images of birds uh, I've got a lot of sort of like uh, heads, which is great because that means I can draw a really good head. But I'm kind of with the leg work and the wing work, I'm kind of guessing a little bit, uh, which is nice. But I kind of want them to have like quite thick legs. These are going to be guys that run on the ground. They're not going to be, um, not going to be particularly. Uh, they're not going to be very good flyers. I've decided, whether that's true or not. Please feel free to correct me. Um, but these don't actually exist, so I will actually dispute it. So, okay, let's have a little look. Um, what am I thinking? Um, okay. So, let me draw the neck out. Okay, I'm kind of starting to like the look of this. It's kind of meant to be leaning forward. It's not brilliant as I said I'm going to try and get as much done as I can in an hour um, the idea behind this is that uh, I suppose I know quite a few of my students are tuning in to watch as well so I suppose in, in my mind um, <laughs> I'm still in a bit of teacher mode but uh, trying to show them that actually in an hour you can achieve quite a lot um, you know it's always a uh, it's always good to kind of well it's good to get things right first and then when you're comfortable getting things right you can work on uh, you can work on the more complex stuff but I'm quite uh, I'm quite picky myself I have to admit so I have to get it right but what I might do is I might start this today 
I might finish it in a uh, in a later stream and see how we go. So, so whether or not I'll get to colouring today, I don't know. But if I focus on just getting the the line work sketch looking good, that'd be pretty good. Um, okay, so I probably want to take off the transfer now, uh, and I probably don't want to be drawing in black. I probably want like a dark grey. And what that'll do is that'll give me kind of like more of a, well, I don't really like drawing completely in dark black. I think you dis distort the image a little bit. I'm hearing a ping. I'm assuming that's somebody asking something. Hey, Chris, not too bad. How are you? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so for those of you wondering, um, I'm on YouTube and watch me work. So um, always good to, uh, so if I'm talking to an imaginary person, people on YouTube, that's me uh, talking to people and watch me work. And what people and watch me work, if I'm talking to somebody on YouTube, then uh, that's why there's no question there. Okay. Fantastic, Chris. I'm glad to see you doing well. <laughs> Throw me off a little bit there, I have to admit. But it's all right. It's all right. I'll forgive you. Um. <laughs> okay, so. Right, I'm just going to start building into, I'm thinking sort of like big head feathers on this one, um, and go from there. Um, uh, do I have pairing enabled? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm <laughs> uh, it's, I barely managed to get the stream working because uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out uh, how to get the YouTube link correctly. So I managed to get that sorted. But um, just for those of you wondering, Chris is just asking me if I've got pairing working on Watch Me Work. It's actually a really cool website. So I, I recommend like checking it out. You can see people kind of working together and stuff. So um, whether I have that working or not, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> but um, so already I'm at a point where I completely dislike this image. So what I'm going to do, uh, it's the head. The head is in the wrong place. The head needs to be higher. So if I just merge that down for the time being, just lasso tool, and I can just kind of dial down there. Okay, and control T. Uh, just sorry guys, I feel guilty. I just used the hotkey and I promised to win. That was just control T. So um, I'm just gonna move that more to sort of like, I suppose there, it's all about maybe shrink it down. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of. It's, I almost feel like it's meant to be like a wyvern. Um, I'm drawing wyverns again. That's not a good thing. Um, okay, from there. Um, it does say I'm next in line to be paired. Yes. So I'm assuming that's. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, Chris. You, you're gonna have to help me out on that one. That's fine. I'll just keep drawing for now. If I get paired with someone, I get paired with someone. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> I think I can manage. Okay, so uh, thinking kind of that that looks a little bit better. I'm I'm not really sure. Like um, rule number one: get your proportion right and your anatomy right. Because if you get that wrong, uh, you're going to cause problems. This is kind of like a stumpy little guy. Um, da 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 da. Chris, if I pair with someone, am I going to hear them chatting to me? Or <laughs> am I uh, am I still going to be able to just talk to myself? I don't want to throw them off. Okay. Okay. Sorry to the person I match with then, because I'm probably going to mute you. Um, not in a horrible, <laughs> not in a horrible way. Uh, but I'm I'm still trying to get to grips with stuff. Okay, so. Um, grade it out. Um, okay, thanks, Monty, for trying to share the link to my watch me work. <laughs> uh, this makes it a bit easier. Um, okay, so at the moment, I kind of like that I've done that thing um, <laughs> that you'll notice in a lot of my work, and I've managed to end up going and doing a side view for the head. So, what I'm actually going to do. 
oh, never be afraid to erase things, guys. Um, sometimes it's the right choice. So I'm actually going to just erase that completely and just quickly start again. So um, let's just go. So if we want the bridge to be sort of like there, by there, head set, okay. Okay. So as I've said before, if anybody ever has any questions whilst I'm drawing, um, please, please, please feel free to ask. Um, I will do my best to answer them. Uh, I tend to put that in my stream kind of uh, bio bit as well as um, as well as the rest of the stuff. Uh, for those of you wondering what I'm doing when I keep going into my brush settings, I just keep changing the transfer settings from um, from uh, sensitive to, to not so much um, okay so this is either going to go disastrously madly or really well so let's just kind of stick with the really well part um, okay so I don't really know what the beak of this is supposed to be but I'm going to go for like some kind of parrot. I don't really know if that works, but I can always play around with that later. Um, I think maybe we should put a harpy eagle on there, that's fine. Okay, so we've got the eye up there. Thanks, Chris. So we can just look at so if the lights coming from there, which is what I want it to be, I need to make sure the lights also replicates there. Now I'm trying to draw in some detail so I know kind of what I'm doing, but so my way of so like thinking about this um, when I'm whenever I'm coming up with a an idea now the reason why I called my channel sort of like legends of folklore uh, I, I really do enjoy reading about them I think it's fascinating uh, I really do um, I, I like the idea that before video games were even invented because I am actually sort of like uh, my degrees in game science so before video games were even invented that there were people going around making up um, imaginary creatures trying to sort of make sense of the world I guess um, you know there's the there's the famous one that I, I have told my students before um, that, that a cyclops potentially came from um, the skull of an elephant you know for for those people that had never seen um, an elephant uh, you know seeing this this giant skull with tusks and a, and a giant circular kind of opening where the um, where the eye would potentially go I suppose when they look at like human skulls they've maybe never seen an elephant skull so the first thing that people said when they saw it was oh it must be a you know a giant creature with one eye and stuff like that and I think it's quite interesting to um to know that our mind makes up these uh, these patterns and tries to rationalize things we don't necessarily um understand and I suppose that's the whole thing about um, myth and legend even you know whether it's real or not is not the actual point the, the point is um you know w what was it before it became that you know um and that's kind of what i want to try and capture in some of these images i'm always going to be trying to use um creatures from the the real world to to build up my image so okay so Okay. Right. 
right so I'm hoping that this is starting to look pretty pretty well, a bit more fleshed out I guess um, as you guys can see I'm doing some really quick line work at the moment um, apologies in advance if I'm if I'm rambling I know it's not everybody's cup of tea um, but if, if people enjoy listening to me talk then that's fantastic um, you're in luck I can talk for Britain so um, right let's have a look so that looks pretty good at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my background it's going to merge visible um, people ask me why I use grey background sometimes it's, it's obviously just preference um, I you know I'm not I'm not too picky with these sorts of things but right so this is where I kind of want to start adding in um, more detail so I'll do a new layer I've turned on the transparency and now I'm trying to get kind of I suppose taking my time a little bit more now to see where it is I'm going with things um, Now, um, there are lots of different types of uh, brushes you can use when doing this, but I am a, I'm a, it's really strange. Um, I'm quite a big fan of just using a standard circle brush. Um, I can use other brushes, I just, I've never really branched away from them. It's always been quite interesting. Um, just using a circle brush, I think that uh, it reminds me of a pencil and I've, I've never really enjoyed um, when I was at art and school I never really enjoyed venturing away from using pencils so you know I've, I've been there and uh, I suppose anything that I can use as a paintbrush that's uh, circular is probably a good bet so um, but I will okay starting to get an idea of what I want so so I'm actually gonna go a little bit dark with the brush I'm starting to realize that I I'm not really being, I can't really distinguish the details I want to distinguish. Now, you guys will probably start seeing in a bit, I, I do a really strange thing when I draw, and that's uh, I start doing um, sort of like this. Okay, so I start doing uh, line work shading, which I, I really love to do. Um, Control Alt Z, by the way, for those of you that are wondering um, how to go back more than once if you're in Photoshop without going into history. Um, but basically, I have a real thing about oh that's the problem okay right so what I've just realized is I need to make my canvas a lot lot bigger I thought I was doing my 10,000 by 10,000 canvas I'm clearly not I'm doing 5,000 by 5,000 now if you're doing quick sketches I do actually advise you use a smaller um, canvas otherwise don't do that to yourself because uh, if you try and do a quick sketch on a large canvas you're gonna have a lot of problems um, it's just easier so you can see the difference in scale there that's full size in my 5000 by 5000 so if I grow that that'll just give me a lot more pixels to kind of play with when I'm doing things like detailing um, which I shouldn't really be doing uh, but I, I like doing it this way I have to admit you know um, there, there are certain rules in place <laughs> that you should try and follow and they those are you know get the um, get the overview sort of done uh, get the values in there first um, but for the time being I'm doing this for more for fun so um, I'm just kind of doing what I want to do so what I'll do is I'll do
it's as you can see with like a lousy canvas I can just kind of build a bit more into it so start now when you do like the line work like this it's it's one of those ones that's a bit um, I don't know I've been asked how I kind of decide what what lines I put and where um, when I start doing that and how I know to go fainter and dark and I think it's just practice um, you know I, I, d I don't like shading like that it's, I find it quite uh, it's not very sketchy uh, I like sketch sketch sort of style so um, I suppose when you when you like a sketch style it's easier to it's easier to um, decide where you want to go and normally as you can see like here it goes dark like light and then it goes around as so it's kind of curving round and that's kind of sort of how it's going I always kind of decide my light based on my eyes as well which makes things quite easy so as I proper get into it you guys probably hear me well not hear me exactly more so okay so as you can see this eye's starting to look a bit a little bit better kind of what I wanted um, So the light's going to hit me there. So I'm going to turn the lights. Now I think artists have good days and they have bad days, and this I don't necessarily feel is is one of my uh, one of my best days. Um. I think it's very easy to start something, not really have an idea and try and roll with it and it doesn't always work out. But sometimes I think you just gotta go for it and um, the reason I always go back to myths and legends is because you can, you know, they're so open to interpretation. Uh, if you are practicing and you draw, say, I don't know, you go and you draw a dolphin. Um, drawing a dolphin is fantastic. It's, it's good practice, you know, you're gonna learn how to draw that dolphin really well. I think. If, however, you want to draw to um, enhance your imagination, um, you want to try, so, try drawing something different, you've got to kind of look for a mix of real world uh, creatures and combine them with, I suppose, um, things that, that maybe, uh, well, they do exist but ha haven't been combined in that certain way. The whole um, idea that when the Duckbill platypus was first found. It was kind of like a, um, it was considered to be a hoax. It just seemed too surreal, you know. It laid eggs. It had a duck's beak, but it was a mammal. People were like what? Um, it's that it's that same sort of thing. I think uh, you've you've got to kind of make the duckbill platypus. <laughs> you know, you've you've heard a, a, a story. Um, you hear a story like uh, I don't know something like the the cyclops, the centaur, a. Um, Cerberus and you've got to sort of say to yourself well actually how can I do my own take on that how do I make it different you know if every uh, if every Cerberus looked exactly the same in every game people would eventually get fed up so you know they always have to do a slight change slight difference um, I've always been a really big fan of the the Heroes of Might Magic franchise for that um, Heroes of Might Magic 3 in particular if any of you ever have a look at that it's really good for reimagining Lots of creatures such as the basilisk, um, hydra, uh, harpies, minotaurs, all that. I, I've always been a really big fan, so always something to to look into. It's a game I grew up with, and I think that kind of helped capture my interest in sort of myth and legend and stuff like that. So let's just build into this. Right, so. It's kind of, well, the head's looking all right. Uh, 
I can see this is a quite a quite an interesting ground dwelling creature. As I said, you know, it lives in this is meant to live in mines. It's meant to eat gold. Now I you know I can't think of many things that, that in the natural world eat um eat gold. Uh so it's you know i think i kind of left that bit maybe i'll incorporate that into the color maybe it can have sort of like gold feather tips or something like that and that's why it can't fly and it's underground um but the idea that it chases sort of like miners away from the gold um made me think of the more sort of like aggressive birds and there are quite a few birds are highly aggressive you know so it's not too hard to get that aggression across So this is going to be sketchy because we're already about halfway through um, this live stream so um, unfortunately I won't be able to stay up much later but what I'm going to try and do um, is I'm going to try and stream through both Watch Me Work and um, YouTube on a more regular basis and hopefully maybe uh, on a coming weekend or um, potentially the bank holiday Monday coming up I'll try and maybe do a longer stream, um, you know an image from start to finish if that's something that interests people so please let me know and I will uh, arrange it if that's the case okay so as I said it's always so like, I, my, my go-to is always to kind of like do a side view almost like um, you think of the uh, the way they show things in games but I'm kind of I suppose playing around with an idea here whether I'm happy with it or not is a different story but um, you know if we don't push ourselves we don't develop so I'm not complaining too much I think it's always good so let's now zoom out do a new layer and try and get the rest of the body looking good so I'm going to say actually and this is where I'm going to kind of backtrack and I know I said that uh, you know don't don't try and do sketchy stuff on a large canvas but you know sometimes you've got to completely ignore what you said before and do your own thing so I'm trying to get it to kind of quite a lot of birds when they get aggressive um, they puff out their uh, so like their breast, like you look at a robin, their breasts they do that. Um, if you look at, there are a few other birds as well that have it have it more specialised. I think this is kind of important. So build into that there. So I'll probably change the wings around at some point as well. Um, think maybe get that to look a more vertically like so I'm actually quite happy with the legs I think they've come out all right the feet obviously need to be quite well placed it's going to run fast it needs quite a large surface area um, go from that right so maybe Brown like so, down like so, do I prefer that? Yeah, I think I prefer that a lot more. Okay, so all I'm deciding is to actually have it more tucking in um, the wings. And that's probably just because in my mind they wouldn't be used as much. Um, what with it living underground and stuff, so I just kind of erase that back. As I said, never be afraid to erase things off, change things around. Um, it's nothing that can't be redrawn if you decide that you want it back the way it was. So it's always good practice redrawing it. So, you know, um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. So if I just turn that pasty down on that now, 
um, I'm actually going to keep the pace the up rather than merge it down. Because now I should just go. And this time I'm going to really turn that opacity down. I'm trying to get rid of some of the noise. Um, by noise I mean like the actual sketch work. Um, so now you'll probably start to see it sharpen up just a bit. I know I spent a lot of time sharpening up the, the head and stuff, but um, guess what? I've got to watch it all over again. So, project transfer, I'll keep uh, shape dynamics on um, with pen pressure. And the reason why is just I like that kind of shape and it, it works more so. Now, as you can see, like when I zoom in, I still obviously have my whole view over here that I can kind of uh, look at. So I always know that what I'm doing is kind of the big picture. So all I'm doing is drawing on the light. Um, probably just to be a reminder of myself. If you don't do that, sometimes it doesn't look very alive is a problem Okay, so draw up lines there, I might even extend that out a little bit. Now, um, a lot of good artists uh, do tend to flip and rotate their canvases quite a lot. I could do that. I'm using my uh, Wacom 4 and it does have like the roller wheel, so I could, if I wanted to, uh, change it around, move it around quite, quite a bit. Um, like so with the roller wheel which is actually fantastic because if I wanted to I could do that to give myself stronger brush strokes here but I do tend to keep it quite static and just move my head which again works and as I said the good thing about having the navigator open which is this here is that I can constantly be checking that what I'm doing is um, is correct but done okay so for those of you wanting to rotate your image just if you don't have that option there I do believe you can do that through the image panel image yeah just you can do image rotation if you want to um, and that works quite nicely Okay, so let's keep building into this thing, shall we? I want to kind of finish with something good. I might run over just a little bit if that's the case. Um, try and get some bits finished off, but. So I'm always um, kind of struggling to figure out what kind of thing to draw next, especially with like myth and legend stuff. So if there's anything that is quite obscure that um, anybody else is kind of interested in um, me drawing, you know, please uh, get in contact because I'm always happy to, um, I'm always happy to sort of like try out a new a creature I might not get to it straight away but um, and as well you know I, I do intend to um, what's a really good practice sometimes is you know like I might draw the Cerberus for example um, 
but then what I might do with that Cerberus is I might uh, I might actually kind of reimagine it in several ways so I've actually done one before in the past this is before I did um, live streaming I'm very new to this but um, I did a Cerberus that had sort of like hyenas uh, heads and there's actually two heads for that so I think you know reimagining things sometimes and playing around with that kind of set of concepts is really nice and I think it's good practice as well you don't always want to get stuck into the same sort of thing um, I, I worry that if I ever did uh, do some work for games companies that later down the line that um, you know, you don't you don't want to keep throwing out the same ideas. You want to, unless of course you're working for the, on the same game, in which case maybe you do. But I think y you want to try and keep things different. You want to try and keep things interesting. Um, so constantly practicing drawing the same thing, but in different ways. You know, uh, maybe do some Cerberus with like the head of a, a wolf, timber wolf, and then maybe try it again with like hyenas and completely change the tone of their fur and how they actually work so you know I might draw say like a griffin with the head of a, a you know an eagle but then at the same time you can kind of artistic license you could you know that they don't say what type of eagle um, you could be like a harpy eagle uh, which is like a huge eagle it takes like you know monkeys out of trees and all sorts so um, you can really sort of like play around with the the different concepts just thought about doing some research I, I watch a lot of nature documentaries when I do these so um, tend to help quite a lot but Netflix as well there's quite a few on there especially by David Amber um, that I really enjoy watching okay so I think it's looking very uh, liney at the moment and not very uh, there's not a lot of shape to it that's probably because I've not added in much in the way of values or tone um, but that's fine this will improve as it goes on as I said I'll probably um, continue on with this for uh, a few more live stream streams during the week so that'll probably be off the calendar uh, on watch me work on YouTube um, you guys just have to subscribe and then it'll let you know when I'm doing it um, and I do try and keep it up to date I try and tell you what part I'm on so if we end up getting on to part 10 of this I doubt that very much I'm sure I can do it in two parts three parts maybe but as I said this is just a start and this is just an hour so okay Um, sorry if I am mumbling to myself, everyone. It does happen. Now, when I start adding in colour and stuff, I will probably try and uh, get a lot more in the way of detail, but. It's a lot easier to paint detail sometimes than it is to represent it in line work. It tends to be a lot harder, <coughs> harder work. So, and as it stands, we're getting the detail in there, but it's kind of, I mean, uh, I could go kind of really, rather than having this kind of be a head, I could like really play around with that. See, I think that's looking better already. If I do that, maybe. Okay, so what I've just decided to do there, those who are unaware, I've decided to take away this part here. It's got a bit of a kind of puffed out chin, give it a bit more of a scraggly neck. I think sometimes it gives it sort of like more of a um, a, a menacing kind of feel. It kind of reminds me at the moment of um, 
there's an owl in the secret of the moon which is a thing I watch as a child it's a really creepy owl um, but sort of build into that and it gives it more of a pleasant and interesting kind of look to it as well I think sometimes if you bulk things out a bit too much they can lose a bit of interest personal opinion but you know that's the best part about art sometimes you know it's there are fundamentals of course but so I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I need to relatively um, big ears uh, reasons why I suppose if it's in the dark it's in a cave I've given it big eyes it also needs some form of big ears I'm actually thinking sort of like along the lines of a of an owl perhaps in this kind of I mean it's looking a bit strange oh wow it's at the time huh. I'm uh, running out of time on this stream a bit but um, if I can get the <laughs> if I can get the top half done, I'll I'll be relatively happy. Um, obviously, with sort of like the last twelve minutes on the stream, um, if anybody does have any questions about kind of, I suppose, what I've been doing or how I've done anything, feel free to ask because I have obviously got both the chat windows open, so um, I can always answer the questions. If you want to sit in silence, that's absolutely fine as well. <laughs> okay, so. I'm kind of adding a bit more dark in the eyes and I will before the stream ends um, will add in some hyper I'll probably do it now a new layer I'm just going to add some highlights to the eyes um, reasons why as I said it's that whole bit of it, it brings it to life a little bit now as I decide on sort of like the light source and that I will probably have a better idea of what it is I'm going to uh, what colour I'm going to make these sort of like highlights but um, you'll see in a minute it makes a difference so or I think it does anyway I don't like leaving highlights out so um, kind of doing that so kind of maybe a bit too much on there but I'm going to dial that down a bit and then we'll get a bit more into it so I'll probably just for now um, get a bit darker I'm probably just going to build slightly into the eyes just because as I said I think I kind of make an image and if you are running out of time you want to kind of make that image as interesting as possible and uh, playing around with the eyes does tend to do that in my opinion so probably just done the wrong thing here I probably should lighten it but we'll look in a minute yeah definitely should have lightened it okay so all I'm going to use I'm going to use alt to pick the color I just used for that and then uh, just a little bit darker but actually still lighter um, I just kind of build into the eye a little bit. Don't need much, but just a bit. Same over here, just uh, build into it. And then actually for these, go like really dark. I'm just gonna paint my face, just build into the eye. Okay, let's 
soul. Okay, so it's given a bit more shape. Um, I'm guessing start maybe potentially. I think I'm just going to work on the sort of upper half of the head for the moment. Just make life a little bit easier. Just kind of add some darker bits to it. So, and then I think for now, the top half of the head isn't too bad. Cheers, Sahib. Thank you. Appreciate it. Seven more minutes to go. Let's see if I can save it. Because at the moment, I think the eyes are looking all right. I'm quite happy with the beak. The rest of the image is a bit, uh, don't know how I feel. Maybe redraw some of that. Um, uh, it's not the end of the world. So I just did Control A, Control T. No, that still hasn't done it. Um, just kind of think about it. It's kind of getting there. Um, you know, as I said, it's oh god. Um, it's probably because I haven't uh, <coughs> done much with tone and all that. But uh, but I will kind of play around with this image the best I can, and then. from there now it's kind of become like a I'll be honest with you guys uh, it doesn't look like any of my reference images so where I've got this um, I'd love to tell you uh, but I'm not quite sure I can <laughs> the wings would come out of there and there definitely I'd even be tempted to kind of give it maybe like uh, almost like a couple of hooks for kind of chipping away at the, the rock I suppose it'd need to be able to find um, it would need to be able to find its sort of like uh, food if it was chipping away at gold. I don't know how much nutritional value gold has, but um, clearly by the size of this guy, a lot. But that's an, that's uh, no scientists are looking at this. That's fine. Unless you are a scientist, in which case you can tell me the nutritional value of gold. That'd be fantastic. Okay, so. Of get that looking a bit like this. 
I suppose I'm kind of happy with it. I think once if I'm looking at this, I'll kind of talk you guys through the image now, um, kind of wrapping up and then I'll go into it. So if I go into a new layer, I suppose I'd add a light source coming in from here because where my light is, I'll probably add a light source here. Excuse me. Um, probably have one here, a bit here, here, just over the top here, and obviously coming down. Um, and catching various elements like you know you'd have sort of like where it reflects off the floor you probably have a bit of under lighting here um, so there are lots of areas that I, I would sort of like add into um, you know and when I start on the tone and the values and stuff so you've got two options you can stick in kind of like the grayscale which I might do for this image and then add an overlay layer which get, gets your color um, or you can just start painting straight away with colors and I, th I think for this um, I'm potentially going to uh, stay, do it do it all the way through with sort of like grayscale and stuff so um, yeah it's not too bad uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the 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 head and stuff I'm, it's not too bad um, but the overall image needs a lot more work so um, I suppose I'm gonna wrap it up there so uh, I'd like to thank you all for um, watching uh, it's been absolutely fantastic uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again so the next definite stream will be next Tuesday same time um, so there's a bit of consistency there but please keep an eye out because I may be um, you know follow if you're on watch me work or subscribe if you're on YouTube um, it'd be really good to so I'd be able to keep you guys up to date with the streams as and when they're coming so everyone have a fantastic evening where I am I suppose if you're watching from um, the States as well uh, or anywhere else in the world good morning good evening uh, good afternoon, whatever it is for yourselves. And uh, this is me signing out.